Hey yeah, folks, I'm back. All right, so today what we're gonna look at is uh, how do we use mid-side EQ to make uh, a wide spacey sound even wider and even spacier. Uh, first things first, you're gonna go watch Dan Worrell's um, video on mid-side EQ for uh, that he did for FabFilter a few years ago. It's the best and he will explain it much, much better than I can. Anyways, here is my problem or here's what I try to solve. I have a very big bassy synth sound that you might have seen in the last video. And when that starts, I almost pretty much mono it right into the center to make room for other things that I want to be spacey, in this case an ambient guitar. However, I felt like the synth started fighting a bit with that guitar. So I uh, used a little mid-side EQ trickery to push the guitar out to the sides so there's less of it in the middle. Check it out, here's what it sounds like. And really, the two elements... Do you call it elements? I think you do. Uh, the two elements that are fighting for space are these two. So I want this guitar here to be really like what creates the uh, the, the size and the ambiance. By the way, that's a uh, Stratocaster, it's a Kiesel uh, Delos into a matchless uh, running through the Source Audio Collider. So that's where I got the delay and the reverb. So anyways, what I did, as you saw in the last video, I go from being very wide on my synth here into being almost entirely mono uh, to make room for this guy. But I still felt the, this guy, or this guy, the synth got in the way of the guitar. So here's to my trickery. Check this out. Uh, basically what I've done, I guess I can just do this from scratch to show you. So in FabFilter Pro Q, I use this for everything all the time. Away you go. So I don't really need any low end on this one. So you see down here where it says channel mode left, right, I'm going to change that to mid side. This is my, uh, my low cut or high pass. I always confuse the two. It's the same thing. I just want to make sure I don't sound stupid. I'm going to set this to mid and cut out quite a bit of low end because I don't need it. Also going to take some top off. These guitars tend to get a little, uh, a little aggressive in the uh, higher frequencies. Then what I'm going to do, and check this out, this is where the magic happens. So I've taken out from like the, the center of the speaker, so to speak. I've taken out a lot, a lot of lows, a lot of highs. And then here, I'm going to change this to side. So this is what you're going to hear um, all the way out to the sides of the speakers. You really need headphones for this, by the way. Out. I'm gonna just like toggle this EQ on and off a few times so you can hear what the difference is. Again, uh, good quality studio monitors or headphones is really gonna make this make sense. So that makes quite a bit of difference. Let's see how that sounds in context. And I'll, I'll just keep toggling this on and off so you can hear it. So it like it keeps all that size and space in there, but it pushes it out to the sides without me having to do anything with panning at all. Uh, so really cool trick, and I think it works very well with monoing the synth. And like st stereoing the guitars, <laughs> if that makes sense. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love. Bye.